Today's Good People, Good Works will be presented in Amharic and English with subtitles in Amharic, Arabic, Olaxis or Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mali, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Human rights and animal rights, they're interconnected and if we don't fight for animal rights and human rights, then we haven't done anything. We can't ignore one and leave the other. They're both equally important. Supreme Master Television, Dr. Antana Roba. እና መሰረቱን አሜሪካ ስለላደረገው አትራፊ ስለላልሆኖ ቡድን ስለላለማቀፋው ይፈንድ ለአፍሪካ ወይም በእንግሊዘኛ መጻረቃል ስለ IFA አስደናቂ ስራ ለምንናቀርበበት የሁለተኛና የመጨረሻ ክፍል ወደ ሆኖ መልካም ሰዎች መልካም ስራዎች ዝግጅታችን እንኳን በደና መጣች ቡድኑ የሚንቀሳቀሰው በአህምሳ ወይንም በኢዛባ ጫሪነትና ሁሉን ፍጡራን በማክበር መርህ ነው IFA በሰዎች ማከል እንዲሁም በሰዎችና በአብረውን ኗሪ እንሳት ማከል ያሉትን ገንቢ ግንኙነቶች ለማበረታታት በርካታ ፕሮጀክቶች አሉት። ባለፈው ሳምንት የጨቅላ ህጻናት እንክብካቤን እና የማህበረሰብ ጤናን በኢትዮጵያ ዋና ከተማ አዲስ አበባ ስለማሻሻል ተንከባካቤ ለላቸው ውጮችን የማኮላሽት መርሃ ግብር በተመሳሳይ ከተማ ስለማቋቋም እንዲሁም የተጣሉ አህዮችና ፈረሶች መጠያ በደቡብ ኢትዮጵያ ማቋቋምን ስለማገዝ የመሳሰሉ የIFA ሩሩ ተግባራትን ለማወቅ ይችላል በዚህ ሳምንት ደግሞ ቡድናቸው የቪጋንነት ለአካባቢ ደህንነት መፍቴ የመሆን መልክትን እንዲሁም ስለ አፍሪካ ያየር ንብረት ለውጥ አፋጣኝ ርምጃ አስፈላጊነትን በተመለከተ እንዴት ይያስፋፋ እንዳለ ከዶክተር አንተነህ እንሰማለን My experience has been uh, very uh, you know powerful I've gone to different parts of Africa and I've seen a lot of change even in my own country when I left Ethiopia as a young person almost close to 30 years um Ethiopia was very lush it was you know beautiful there was a lot of vegetation when I went back certain parts of the the country there's no vegetation there's a lot of problems with water shortage um the forests are gone you know in 60 70 years ago Ethiopia had 40% of its forests intact now it's less than 3% the sahara is expanding you know yearly and it's affecting Ethiopia and other parts of Africa the glaciers in Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro are drying up rivers and lakes are drying up the forest in, in West Africa almost doesn't exist the Congo the forests are almost gone desertification is becoming an issue um and so yeah there is some serious serious damage uh to the environment going on in Africa we need to focus on bringing awareness to the governments to the communities instead of pushing for you know cattle to be a means of survival for human beings because at the end of the day having a lot of cattle is causing damage to the environment which eventually both humans and animals are going to lose out በኢትዮጵያ እንዲሁም የትም ቦታ በአፍሪካ ከብቶች ለመገበያየት ያገለግላሉ። እንዲሁም ለስጋቸውና ለውጣቸው ሲባል በዝበዛ አይደርስባቸዋል። IFA የህብረት ሰብ ጤናን ለማሻሻል በቀላሉ ተጎጂ የሆነው ምድረህዮትን እንዲሁም ውድ የእንስሳት ህይወትን ለመጠበቅ እነዚህን ዘላቂ ያልሆኑ ተግባራት ለማስቀረት በመጣር ላይ ይገኛል። So there's a lot of um uh importance attached to having animals in 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 Africa and it is an issue but on the other hand uh, I I think the way to handle that or to deal with it at least in my my way of looking at it is we can help people transit transition from meat and dairy based foods to plant-based food and make plant-based foods abandoned 
uh, abundant that the, enough to feed the population actually it's a better way instead of you know people keeping uh, cattle for food and for bartering they can start farms and you know create their own collectives where they can survive on you know uh, uh, selling crops and we can create that world if the governments, the communities, uh, you know, organizations, NGOs, you know, everybody gets, understands that, you know, a world where we don't use animals is the way to go. And a world that, uh, you know, where we can respect the ecosystems and preserve the ecosystems and actually improve the ecosystem is how we can deal with these issues. የአለም አቀፋዊ ፈንድ ለአፍሪካ ድረገጽ የከብት ርባታ ጉዳዮችን በተመለከተ ጎልቶ ከመይታየው የተባበሩት መንግስታት የከብት ርባታ ረጅም ጥላ የተሰኘ ሪፖርት ላይ 30% የምድር የብስ ከንሳት እርሻ ጋር በተያያዙ ተግባራት እንደተወሰደ የሚገልጹን አስደንጋጭ ቁጥረን የመሳሰሉ በርካታ ተቃሚ መረጃዎችን ይዟል ድረገጹ አብዛኛው የዓለም የሰብል ምርት ወደ 40% የሚጠጋውን የተመረተ ጥራጥሬን ጨምሮ ለእንስሳት ምግብነት ይውላል ከዚያም እነዚህ እንስሳት ስጋን መግዛት ለሚችሉ በአንጻራዊነት አነስተኛ ቁጥር ባላቸው ሰዎች ለመበላት ይታረዳሉ ሲልም ይገልጻል and even the united nations a couple of months ago they came out and said that's the way to go we have to create create a vegan world in the future to stop hunger from becoming a big disaster which already it already is but it's going to get worse if we don't do something about it what we've seen is that there is an openness even on the governmental levels and on ngo levels non-governmental organizations people are beginning to realize that global warming is for real and it's affecting human beings and like the world watch institute came out saying that 51% of global warming is caused by green gas uh, green gas emissions caused by animals that idea is beginning to sink in um, across africa but it's 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 you know admittedly not as fast as we would like it but there is change and we need to build on that that's why organizations like ours have to get involved more and more in in africa to to really drive in that message that you know we can't do business as usual with uh, global warming breathing down our necks you know they've already said a 2 degree celsius increase of temperature in africa is going to cause 600 million people you know severe hunger and and so you can't ignore that and something has to be done and we need to shift our way of thinking ዓለም አቀፋዊ ፈንድ ለአፍሪካ የቪጋን አመጋገብን በርካታ ጥቅሞች ለማስፋፋት በትጋት እየሰራ ይገኛል። እንዲሁም በዚህ ረገድ በአፍሪካ ውስጥ ተመሳሳይ አመለካከት ካላችሁ ድርጅቶች ጋር ሽርክና ፈጥሯል። First of all we're working with um, a couple of uh, uh, vegetarian societies we're working with a vegetarian society in Ghana we're working with a vegan society in Togo and we were instrumental in starting the first Ethiopian vegan association in Addis Ababa and the surprising thing is the Ethiopian vegan association found out about us being involved with veganism through Supreme Masters television that is seen worldwide and they one day saw me on Supreme Master for five minutes and they said oh this man is in America and he's Ethiopian and he he's trying to promote veganism so let's contact him and they contacted me and we started talking and finally said we need to start a vegan society so we did and now it started in Ethiopia and actually we're planning an event in the next couple of months to introduce ourselves to the city of Addis to politicians to parliamentarians and the public and even have Ethiopian TV uh, <coughs> Uh, come and cover what we're going to be doing. We work with these organizations and we try to help them financially as best as we can. The other thing we're doing is we're working with uh, local NGOs in Ethiopia that promote plant-based diets and we support them. They go out to the communities to teach people about focusing on plant-based diet, 
and telling people about uh, the, the negative effects of meat consumption and dairy consumption in Africa. And so we're supporting these organizations. Yayer Nubrat Lotan, Patana Lamewatat, Pullachin, Minima Regan Chilalan, Doctor Antana, Catros La Vigan Mertena, Swatan Maseratia Raga, Amagaga, Merkan Safa, La Madreg, Sela Gillasab Hailia Lachon, Tabab Yagara. Well, my, my belief system is one, change yourself. If you can change yourself, then, then that's a start. Uh, you know, people who understand the impact of global warming uh, and the devastation it causes on the environment and how it's related to animal agriculture, understand that the first thing human beings can do is become vegan themselves. But apart from that, get involved, um, advocate for veganism and telling people that it's not only is it good for the environment, it's good for yourself, it's good for your health. You won't have to die of diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer and all these things if you eat like this. It's, it's you know, change yourself, then be, change others by showing, by living, you know, by practicing what you, you, you preach and going out and doing it. And that's what Supreme Master's followers are doing and I applaud them for doing that. And that's what we need to do and that's what our little organization is doing is, is we're saying we're vegans, we want you to go out and become vegans and help others. አሁን ደግሞ ዶክተር አንተነህ ይህን የመጨረሻ መልእክት ለዓለም አቀፍ ተመልካቾቻችን ያስተላልፋል። The only thing I I can say is if if whoever feels passionate about the planet, about human health and animal suffering, the first and the foremost thing anybody can do is be vegan. Stop eating animals and that will help the environment, it will help their health and it will help the animals. And after that, they can progress into doing other things. Once you become vegan, your mind clears up, your spirit clears up, all that karmic negative energy of being involved, eating dead animals, clears out of your system and then you start focusing, just like it happened to me, towards helping others and, and realizing that we, we have a beautiful planet that we need to respect, we need to take care of, that nurtures us and we can't ignore her. ተራንተነ ሮባና ዓለም አቀፋዊ ፈንድ ለአፍሪካ ፈቃደኛ ሰራተኞች የቪጋን አመጋገብን በማስፋፋት ለኢትዮጵያ አስደናቂ ሆነ የተስፋ መልእክት ማምጣታቸው እንዲሁም ለአዲስ አበባ ህብረተሰብ ጤና አንቀሳቃሽያቹ ጥልቅ ምስጋናችን ለመግለጽ እንወዳለን ካፍ ያለው ሳልነታቹ በቅርቡ ሌሎችን ወደ ሩሩሁ እጽዋትን መሰረት ያደረገ አንኗኖር እንዲለወጡ እና በጽሁፍ ድንቋ ፕላኔታችን ውስጥ ለሚኖሩ ስሜት ያላቸው ፍጥራን ሁሉ ፍቅርንና ብራንን ለማስፋፋት ያበረታታቸው ዘንድ ምኞታችን ነው። ስለ ዓለም አቀፋዊ ፈንድ አፍሪካ የበለጠ መረጃ ለማግኘት www.ifundafrica.org ን ይገኙ። ወይም ከIFA ጋር በwww.facebook.com ይገናኙ። አስደሳች ተመልካቾች ለዚህ ሳምንት መልካም ሰዎች መልካም ስራዎች ዝግጅታችን አብራችሁ በእውይታችሁ አርናወጣችንን ገልጸናል ቀጥሎ ከድንቅ ዘይና በኋላ የሚቀርበው ዓለም በዙሪያችን ነው ሁሉም ነፍሶች ስለ ሁሉም ታላላቅ የእግዚአብሔር ፍጥራን ባርናቆት የተሞሉ ይሆኑ ዘንድ ምኞታችን ነው Please and peers we appreciated your company on this week's edition of good people good works Coming up next is the world around us after notorzinis may our lives be filled with appreciation for all of god's great creations for more details please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw